We're here with uh, James Tagg from uh, True Phone, and I'm going to ask him some questions, and we can have it on Mobile Monday to the view because they can't uh, join us. Um, James, tell me about True Phone. Who is True Phone? Um, well, you, you know, we're, we're based in London, and we're um, a mobile carrier that uses IP as our major sort of differentiator, which means we've got one sort of infrastructure sort of sitting in London or London and around London uh, that provides mobile services to people around the world. So we have applied for mobile licenses or permission to op operate mobile services in 19 of the 27 European countries and uh, North America where we're actually um, operating today um, and several other places around the world and we offer both um, VoIP services, so um, uh, Wi-Fi calling using a mobile phone and also GSM services, so we have SIM uh, that we offer people as well. And we have customers here on the VoIP side in 150 countries, 151 countries today. Um, and we offer GSM uh, roaming services in 128 countries. So that, that's sort of the power of being a, an, an IP-based carrier. Okay, and how do you actually make the money? Uh, we charge our customers money. So it's a simple, <laughs> mobile, you know, <laughs> traditional, boring kind of way. So. Uh, you give us uh, your credit card or your bank details, we charge you an amount of money either on a sort of prepay as you go basis or a sort of automatic top up kind of contract basis. Um, and we charge for um, minutes of voice and text or bundles of, of those things. So, um, not supported by advertising or content or any of those sort of um, business models, just a straightforward um, mobile carrier model. Um, the nice thing about offering, offering mobile services is that the amounts of money for mobile minutes are, are generally large, whereas if you're in the PC uh, VoIP area, the amounts of money are generally very small. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's a nice nice business. So it does come out much cheaper. Yes, yeah, so we, um, our customers really um, get the benefit of uh, lower cost international calls and lower cost roaming calls. So when you look at uh, international calling and roaming in the mobile arena, people can easily be paying you know, $2 a minute. I, I had one customer uh, out of uh, Asia who was paying five euros mm -hmm. a minute uh, for an outbound uh, okay. call and two euros a minute to receive. And so uh, on the Truthing product, he's paying you know, 35 euro, uh, euro cents mm -hmm. outbound and maybe 20 euro cents inbound. Um, and he's absolutely delighted because um, <laughs> that's a massive saving. It's still great, uh, great business and a great uh, profit margin for us. Okay, and you still have uh, three minutes, or you um, for everything today? We um, have free true phone to true phone Wi-Fi calling, but we no longer provide three minutes. So we, for our first year and a half of operation, we allowed you to call any landline in the world for free, mm -hmm. and we no longer offer those three minutes. Um, and that's had the effect of um, some of the customers who were just with us because we were offered free calling, as you could understand, have left. Um, but our revenue has gone up uh, you know, dramatically. So uh, in the last month, our revenue doubled. And uh, you know, so we're we still have customers. Not everybody oh, left. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. We um, uh, customer acquisition stayed the same. So mm -hmm. it looks like there's you know no particular price elasticity or demand there, provided you're you know less expensive than and very expensive, then uh, people are happy to be with you. And, um, you know, we're generally getting good growth and so on. That's good. Um, regarding operators, do you look at yourself as a friend or a foe of operators? Well, obviously we work with all the operators a lot because we roam across their networks and um, interconnect with them in a variety of ways. Um, I think what we provide to an operator is a way of getting a lot of the international calling behavior back onto mobile. You know, at, uh, at two dollars a minute for those, those sort of things, most people have abandoned using their mobile uh, when they travel or when they call internationally. They're all on Skype or low-cost calling cards or a variety of different things, which are not necessarily um, brilliant customer, you know, customer experiences. And so we offer a way of getting those people back into uh, into the mobile um, fold uh, and offering a, you know, a a good value way of of either roaming or calling abroad. So for you know operators who work with us, that's so great because it's a way of acquiring customers that otherwise they they wouldn't mm -hmm. be able to touch. Um, obviously, you know there are some people and operators who 
look at the fact that we're offering something for less money than the two pounds a minute and go, well, mm -hmm. surely that's uh, that's that's bad for our business. Well, it's only bad for your business if if um, uh, you know the volume you know the volume doesn't make up for the price reduction. And we find that you know if you give people a decent price for international roaming, you get quite a lot of volume, which is a much better business to be in than being an extremely high price, low volume business. Mm -hmm. So we think it's generally good. Okay, thank you very much, James. Thank you.